All right, it is Monday, and we are back at it. So at the end of... <clears throat> All right, on, on the stream on Friday, I had put together kind of that abstraction layer, the controllers between the um, between the front end and the um, um, between the front end and the back end. And I, I created the, the point of that was to um, was to be able to well, well, well a couple reasons. Um, the reason I wanted to do it was in the event that I wanted to convert this app to a React Native app to run on mobile devices, um, I didn't want to have to change any of the front-end code um, or any of the, the display code. So what I did was I created this <clears throat> abstraction layer in the React code that actually calls the back-end code and then returns the results. And so... Um, if if I change the back end, I just have to change, or I, really, I just have to add another one of those controllers. And and then I created two controllers. I created the controllers for uh, the Wells app, which I'm building, and then a mock uh, controller that just returns hard-coded values so that I can... Um, so that I can work with the front end in the browser um, and, and get all the... Um, get all the UI components working correctly um, while using the dev tools in the browser. Um, so I did that. I was, I was actually really happy about that. Um, I spent some time uh, being stupid about something, but ended up figuring it out, which is great. And now I have those two controllers um, and I can you know switch back and forth as needed. Um, so now what I'm going to work on is the workouts menu. So I have the, let's see if I can, yeah, let's start this. So I have the, uh, this is, this is the main menu and I have the exercises, um, and I can add more exercises as needed. Um, and now what I want to do is work on this workout menu. Um, so, so again, this is a, this is a workout tracker app, um, and I want to be able to, um, add different exercises and then, you know, you know, create a workout that I can add exercises to, and then there'll be a, there'll be a, um, a function in the app where I can, you know, start the workout and, and keep track of my progress. So that's the, the basic, basic idea of it, but in order to, um, do that, I need to be able to create exercises and create workouts. So right now I'm just kind of putting together the very basics. Like right now it's just, just the name. There's nothing, there's nothing to these things, just a name. Um, and so I want to be able to create a workout and add, add exercises to the workout. Um, and that's what I'm going to work on at least today. This might, this, well, creating the workouts not going to be hard, but adding exercises to it might be might take a little bit. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just get started. Um, so what I need, I mean, it's going to look the extra, the workouts menu is going to look almost identical to the exercises menu. Um, modal might be a little different, but, uh, yeah, it's going to look very similar. And so I'm wondering if I should just copy the code. Um, I'm always weary of doing that because there's just so much you can get wrong by copying it. Um. So, I guess I'll go slowly. Um, or, you know, whatever. I'll just do the whole thing. 
workouts, air, do workouts. I guess I'll just go line by line and change it all. Loaded, set loaded. New workout, set new workout. And then new workout name. Set new workout name. <clears throat> Close new workout. Set new workout name. Set new workout false. Thought I'd change that. Open new workout. Set new workout. New workout submit. Close new workout reload. Okay, new workout name change. Set new workout. And get workouts. Set workouts. That's fine. <clears throat> This is all fine. Let's see, open new workout. You make sure I'm doing this. I gotta make sure I'm capturing all. I mean, I can go, I'll go search through it all once I'm done. Workouts, workouts, workout.name, show, new workout, close, new workout, exercise name, workout name, Workout name, new workout name. Workout name change handler. <clears throat> and submit. Workout handler. New workout submit. Export default, workout menu. All right. Now I need the modal. I don't even think I have an exercises menu.css anymore. I guess I do. There's nothing in it. Okay. So I don't need that. And function new workout modal. Sticks. Perfect. Modal show animation. All this is fine. Add workout. And again, right now I'm just adding names. We'll make these better. <clears throat> Prop, workout, name change, handler, submit, 
let's work out him. <clears throat> And then you get workouts and new workout. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, first one I'm going to do is mock. <clears throat> so copy exercises menu into workouts menu.js. Workouts, return, promise, resolve, workouts. Function, new workouts. Resolve, workouts, stop, push. Export, get workouts, get exercises. Get workouts and new workouts. And copy to show our mock into build. <clears throat> okay. So that should be good. <clears throat> and this should start. Uh, menu, workouts, oh. Yeah. Let's see. On click, open, workouts menu. Parent name reset. That's fine. <clears throat> Close workouts menu. Open workouts menu. I think that should be all. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a switch, switch, uh, <clears throat> switch statement in React or JavaScript or whatever. I should check that because that would be much cleaner than having all of these if statements. <clears throat> and actually, these are kind of the same. Uh, 
This is this is the exact same code. So what I really need is the if statement right here. Whatever, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, workouts menu is not defined. Okay, and then I should just be able to, yeah, okay. So that's the workouts menu. I have the exercises menu. Perfect. Um, now I want to do the wells. And it should just be workout get. Yeah. And this will be in. Exercise new. So workout new exists. Workout yet does not exist. Workout new, workout at exercises. Okay, I don't even have it yet. Interesting. Oh, I already have. <clears throat> okay, so the buy limit offset already works. Well, that's nice. Okay. Sweet. Um, I just want Wells build. Error. No such file or, oh. Yeah. Let's see what broke models that work out value as type in return arguments app dot go. Yeah. This is why I don't copy and paste because I do stuff like that. Sweet. Workouts. Oh. Huh. 
Huh. Well, that's funny. Work out O. Oh. And this is why. Go add tags. There we go. Yep, there they all are. Sweet. And if I want to add new workout, submit. Yep, it gets in there. And I assume. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then dot tables select star from workout. And I should see new workout. Six. Are there six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. In alphabetical order. Perfect. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy. So now, now the next part is actually adding attributes. So, so I have these kind of like basic workout and basic exercise types, but they don't like, there's not, there's nothing in there. Like other than, other than a name. There's nothing really in them. Um, so what I need to do for the exercise, I need to add a type. And I think I've talked about this before where, yeah, the type needs to be like, depends on the maybe time. Um, No, the workout's going to be timed. Um, like whether this is an exercise that has reps, whether it's a distance, whether um, you're going for calories. Although now I'm wondering if this should not... Because any of these could be... Like if you if you do like if you're if you're on a row machine or a bike like if you're just on a stationary bike you could go for distance or you could go for calories like you could go for either so I'm thinking that these actually need to be here in the workout so when you add an exercise you add the type it is whether this is a so maybe select possible types no i think i'm just going to leave it i'm going to put it in the workout part wait if you add an exercise like you add a um Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it in the workout, but it might. I'll leave it in the workout for now. And if I get to it where I decide I want, I need to add more flexibility, I can add it to the exercise. I can go back. So what I need to do, I need to actually be able to click on a workout now and go into the workout. Um, 
and do some stuff in the workout. Now I could make these, I can make these modals where I click on a workout and it's a modal, like kind of like this is a modal. Um, or I'll, I could add an edit button. I'll probably just add an edit button on the side. So you, you know, click the edit button and go into it. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Yeah. So this is kind of similar to what my password manager was. Um, what time is it? Right, one second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I think the first way, I think the easiest way to get, um, to get started with the edit, and I could probably just do this with the exercises, is to just edit the name. So that would be the easiest thing to do. Um, where I just go in and edit the names. And in order to do that, yeah, this is this is where it kind of gets a little complicated because I did um, so I'm gonna have to add a lot more state. Yeah, so I have the key, I have the index, and now I need to make these clickable. Or actually, no, what I need is an edit button on these things. I need an edit button. Okay, and I've already added these. Hold on, let me find the password manager um, stuff. Yeah, okay. So here's the password manager. And I have an edit button somewhere, wherever I do the list. 
Yeah. Button. Da, 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 da. I can't just put it at the end. I do these rows. Trash. Button variant size value. On click. Delete. I want an edit. Mark. Where's the pencil? There it is. Um, hmm. Okay, grab pencil. Import pencil. Source on click edit handler. Let's see how I did this. Oh, interesting. I mean, I have icons at the end. I can throw them away or I can click into them and edit them. Okay, for whatever reason, I thought I had edit buttons on this side in the list, but I don't, which is fine. I mean, I can still add them. Um, but that's just because the, uh, the list items themselves are clickable. I don't really, I don't know if I want that in the menu. I mean, if I do that in the menu, what would that look like? Like I would make these clickable or I would have an edit button on the right side. Or I think, well, the password manager was I could make this whole thing editable, which I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to make the whole page editable. You can edit one exercise at a time. That's fine. Um, I mean, I could click into the exercise. Click into the exercise and <clears throat> do I want to click the exercise or just want, I think I just want an edit button that pops up a modal. That's the same as this. That's just pre-filled. That's just edit exercise instead of. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Um, do I have a pencil? I have the pencil square. I don't have a pencil. Um, bootstrap icons. Probably this one. Okay. 
goes. All right, so now it should be in there. Uh, pencil. Yep, okay. And now I need to add that to the end of... Well, here. Let's just figure out how to add it. List group item. What do I want? I want pencil. That's fine, and I need it to be an image. <clears throat> Source, oh, image, that's what it is. Um, sure, I build I know I'm just gonna screw it up one time and delete delete the wrong thing, which is gonna make me cry. Um Okay, so I have the I have the pencils. Um, and now I just need to size them correctly and move them over to the right right side. Um, there we go. So we have exercise which is nineteen. And then we have this, which is 24. So I want to make that probably 19. Because this is really... Oh, or I just make the margin 0. What's this thing? Forty seven workouts. So it's forty one. It's forty one without an image and sixty five with it. Okay. So that just, okay, so now I need to just work on getting that size right. Okay, so probably main menu, CSS. Um, let's do menu, menu, list, icon. Let's do height, I don't know, 19 pixels for now, margin top, zero pixels, margin bottom, zero pixels, menu list icon. 
class name. Actually, if I just, let's just do that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's still, so 41, and what is this? 41, okay, perfect. So I have the, um, I have the right height. Yeah, 41, that's perfect. Okay, and now I need to, just move it all the way over. Which I think is going to be the same way I do the the plus sign, which is margin left 100% and then margin, like, bring it back a couple of, so I need to figure out how I do that. Yeah, like this. Margin left 100%. What does that look like? Yeah, so now it's all the way over there, and that's weird. Okay. So margin left was 100%. Menu header icon right. And I had menu header icon div right. Which had its own margin. Yeah, this is where it's gonna get complicated. All right, let's add a div. And we're gonna call this menu list div right. Oh, interesting. It's on a different... Huh. It's on a different row. Oh, do you know why it's on a different row? Probably because... I mean, surely that's not... Not because I did this, right? I don't think that would have done it, right? No, that's not it. No, no, it is. That is on a different row. Okay. Um, how do I do it this way? <clears throat> oh, it's a nav item. That's how I do it that way. Okay, um, I could do a table with rows and columns. I'd rather not. So the other thing is I can put the div right there. Yeah, and that just, but it causes, it's the same problem. Maybe not, maybe I can get it, get away with it this time. No, it causes the same issue. Menu list of rights.
Yeah, why is that? Why is the image on a different line? That I don't understand. I want them on the same line. Um, yeah. Curiosity, if I do 50% here. Yeah, that's going to put them on the same line. Menu list div right, menu list icon height, margin left. Why does that go to a second line? I think it's because it's the only way you get 100% of the div. <clears throat> so I could do <clears throat> I do menu list of left Fine. And the size <clears throat> Yeah, I want the length to be half the size. So is there a Let's see. Um, CSS div length or width. Okay, so there's a width. So if I do width 50%. Why is that? Why is the margin so big? Menu list div left should not have a margin. Let's do that. Yeah, see now this is and this is so weird. So two divs, um okay, let's just Google. 
Um, let's see. HTML, CSS, um... Let's see, left, justify, let's see, right, justify, same line, right, justify, same line. Yeah, here we go. P, align left, align right. Float left, float right. Oh, is that it? Wow, that is so silly. Oh my goodness, that's silly. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Although now I'm wondering if I even want... The edit button's on the far right, or whether I want the edit buttons next to the names. It doesn't matter, I'll just leave them there for now. Okay, well that's fine. Float left and float right. Sure. Um, now I need to make this clickable. On click is equal to something. <clears throat> and again, I did this. Where did I do that? Here. Um, secret, let's see, trash, yeah, so on click, this image value button image but i needed that value how did i get that delete entry handler event of target i get actually value Oh, value is in here. Button on click. Okay, so I should just be able to um, class name source value is equal to index on click edit exercise. I'm going to do open edit exercise. There we go.
Um, how do I get it? Event of target to get attribute value. <clears throat> okay module build open new exercise has already been declared open edit exercise Set edit exercise is not defined. Uh, unexpected use of events. Yes. Sweet. Index zero, index one. Perfect. Okay, so now I can start working on those. Um, I think I'm going to stop here for the day just because I, I know what I need to do next, which is create a modal that passes in this stuff. Um, like, actually, I'm going to take some notes here. Open edit exercise const.log so yeah so what i need to do is set edit exercise name to name of exercises index yeah then open modal on submit change exercises index name and re and save list or actually update update exercises name and save list not sure how i'm gonna do that yet um because i don't want to save i'm gonna need the id uh update exercise name using exercise.id that's what i'm gonna need um okay yeah, that's where I'm going to stop for today. Um, so I, I created the workouts menu, which again, was just copy and paste from the exercises menu. And now I'm working on editing them and um, this is going to start where like I, I can actually edit the workouts like the, I'm starting with the exercise just because I'm just changing the name and that's the easiest way to do it. Um, but when I get to editing the workouts, that's where it's going to get complicated or there's going to be more involved because I'm going to be able to add exercises, set the types and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is this is uh, coming along. Coming along again, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm still kind of just defining everything. Uh, but eventually what I want is to be able to actually run an exercise and record information about it. And then once I start doing that, then I can start adding in uh, tracking, tracking or like, well, scheduling, scheduling workouts and then tracking progress. So you should be able to click on an exercise and see, see your progress as you've been recording stuff. So that's, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, but, you know, um, you know, kind of just working away at it little by little. Um, 
yeah, socials, socials are Tyler Travesty, uh, Twitch, Twitter, GitHub. I don't think I ever say GitHub, but yeah, Tyler Travesty on GitHub. Um, I, I haven't posted, I haven't published this repository. So my code, this, the workout code isn't public, but the other code, like my password manager and my c- countdown timer should both be public repos um, if you're interested in those. And then uh, on YouTube, if you search Tyler Travesty, you'll find my YouTube channel where I upload all of my streams so that if you can't catch them live, um, then you can you can always go back and watch them. Um, but feel free to uh, leave a comment, send me a message. Um, if you can't, you know, I'm always always happy to chat. Um, if you're if you're watching live, um, but feel free to you know message me or or leave a comment on Twitter or YouTube, and I'll I'll read them and respond. Um, I always like getting them. Uh, so yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Oh, no stream, no stream tomorrow. Um, got stuff going on tomorrow, so I'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, so until then, uh, hope you uh, have a good week, and I'll see you then.